Hello everybody, so as you may or may not know, I turned 21 a few weeks ago and unlike a normal person having just one celebration, I dragged out through pretty much the whole entire month. I celebrated in a whole bunch of different ways and I thought today that I'd share with you a bit of what I did. So the first thing that I did was like a pre-birthday celebration, of course. I drove down to Bristol to see Cheryl at uni. I am on the M4 for the next 74 miles because I am on my way to Bristol with Cheryl and we're gonna go out and we're gonna go to a festival tomorrow called Tokyo Dub. So that's where I'm off to now and I'm so excited. so I was really excited however it was a drum and bass festival I'm more of a Beyonce Casey Perry type of gal so it wasn't exactly up my street but I still had a really good time and made loads of new friends now my actual birthday was on a Tuesday and unless you go to London or find some sort of student night there's really nothing to do on a Tuesday so the student night close to where I live is Monday so we went out there and as predicted we all got far too drunk and it was just an extremely messy night to give you an idea this is gross i'm sorry matilda was sick all over the bed and grace broke her foot yep she was on crutches for the next weeks if you were lucky enough to have me on snapchat at the time you will, will have probably seen some ridiculous snaps from that night I think luckily for everyone though, I didn't save any of them. But I did find this one from the actual evening of my birthday. Um, I went with my family to a really nice Chinese restaurant where it's just all you can eat Chinese and I was like dying. The next celebration was that weekend. My parents, as part of my birthday present, treated me to a day trip to Paris. So we went over there on the Eurostar. We had to wake up at, I think, four o'clock in the morning but it was just a really really lovely day and here is a bit of what happened in Paris. What's the time Matilda? I think it's about quarter past four. It's about quarter past four in the morning and there's still people from their night out but we're setting off because we're going to Paris. Yeah, yeah. Of Mickey. Mickey! Um. What? <laughs> Some people can do really good impressions. Yeah, what about Donald Duck? I'm gonna do a face. That's so nice. That's my Donald Duck. Donald Duck and Mickey! And Donald Duck <laughs> and Mickey! Yep. Merci! Who lives here? Cozy Mado. Can you do an impression? Oh, <laughs> that's good. Matilda, what do you think of La Louvre? I think it's lovely. It's lovely. We're now looking for a bicycle, bicycle to the big up tree yeah. and then we're gonna go shopping. This is terrifying. We're on bikes on like the busiest roundabout. I see the Arc de Triomphe in the distance. 
Oh my god! So many cards! We're off the road. That was that was very stressful. I nearly died. She nearly died. I nearly died. Matilda. She takes selfie in circle. Is the arc the trail? Mm, we like it. Hello! 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 We've just arrived at Sacra Oh, it's gonna be a long walk up, isn't it? <laughs> a man was trying to put bracelets around our wrists, and my dad came over and was like, no. And then the guy who was putting bracelets around our wrists was like, mm, to my dad. And I said, no! That's my dad! You're not doing that! Gosh, you can really see how tired I am in my eyes now. It's now 5.30 and after Sacre Coeur we went to Montmer, which is sort of the area around Sacre Coeur. And everyone was doing paintings of, and like little sketches and how are? Yeah, they are. And little like sketches and paintings of everyone and they're amazing. I'd so get one done if I was here for more than about 10 minutes. But We've got to go soon. I cannot believe that it has only been one day and now we are going back home. So we say au revoir to friends. Bonsoir. We had such a good day and the next video I'm assuming is going to be basically Matilda and Grace have organised me a surprise for my birthday. Again, dragging out the celebrations of course. It's in a couple of weeks time and honestly I've got no idea what it is. I've asked for clues and they've told me that Grace is dreading it apparently and she hates all extreme sports so I'm guessing it's going to be something crazy like that. But they also said that it's really weird. So... The top of my list, I think, Zorbing, but maybe I've got no idea what it is. They are giving nothing away, and I've never been surprised before, so I'm quite excited, but I am quite apprehensive. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing that's what next week's video is going to be on, depending on whatever the activity is, and if we can film, I don't know. But again, whatever next time's video will be, I will see you then. Bye!